Welcome, everybody, to episode of the Cool Interviews. How are you guys doing today, man? I am here with Zaquan Patterson, an athlete out of Miami Gardens, Florida, in the class of 2024. He was just recently ranked a four-star by 24-7 Sports. Uh, how are you doing today, Saquon? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good as well. Uh, but before we get into any other questions, I just got to ask, like, what age were you when you started playing football, and what influenced and inspired you to start playing football? Uh, I started playing football when I was like uh, nine. Mm. Yeah, my first year, my first yeah, my first year was nine years, and I started playing football because my whole family played football. Mm -hmm. Just I never, I never got, I never really played organized football until that age. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, did you start out playing all these different positions, or did you start up at playing one position? What what one did you start out? Yeah, no, nah, actually, I played, I played one position all the way up until thirteen, and then I, then I changed to DB at uh. In high school, when I when I went into high school, that's when I changed my position. I played DN from nice. nine to thirteen, and then I changed. And I know you play some other ones like free safety, cornerback, stuff like that, outside linebacker. Uh, uh, what one? What 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 is your favorite position out of all those positions? Uh, I play. I like safety. Mm. More so, I like safety, and I like this position called we we call it the star, which is like the rover, or people people call it the bandit. Yep. But I like that position. Well. Okay, okay. Uh, how's your recruitment process been going, though? How's that been going? I know you got some offers from Miami, Georgia, Florida State, Miami, some of those offers. How, how's it been going so far? It's good. You know, every – I mean, other than the, the, my last one I got, I didn't really hear nothing from nobody. But um, mm -hmm. there's people – yeah, I know there's people watching. That's why I'm just – man, I got to do for now. For sure. Uh. If you have visited any schools yet, or if you're going to be soon, uh, what what do you look for in schools that make it a good fit for you to go there? Uh, a school that I want to, I don't want to go. I want to go to a school that still has a family feel. Mm -hmm. You know, has good education too, because you know you don't play. We're not gonna play football forever, so yeah, gotta have something else. I've visited a couple schools, but my best, the favorite one I visited so far was it was between uh, Florida State and. Um, and uh, Alabama. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You, I'm up there too. I like you too. Did you meet Nick Saban when you were at Alabama? Yeah, he came in and talked to us uh, for like thirty seconds. He was so cool. <laughs> he came <laughs> in and talked to us for like thirty seconds. Just walked out. It was, it was crazy. Yeah. Uh, I was interviewing another guy. He said, like, right when Nick Saban walked in, like everybody just stopped doing what they were doing. Yeah, and, like, we was we was watching a video and like we was watching a one of your hype videos, mm. and he walked in and he just stopped the video. <laughs> and then everybody everybody got quiet yeah and he started talking to us he was talking to us and then then he just he walked out he was like right, i gotta go meet with somebody and then he walked out he called <laughs> our players out in the hallway i don't know if you're doing kenyatta jackson that's funny that's funny that's definitely funny bro he has that ability because he's like one of the best college coaches yeah <laughs> yeah he just walked in the whole room got quiet everybody knew they just it, it just it just happened yeah <laughs> uh but next question um now, now going a little bit outside of, well, outside of your recruitment process, but like, what, what did it feel like for that first offer that you got from Syracuse? Like, what did that feel like for you? It was a good feeling. I didn't know I was going to get an offer that early. Mm. I, I, and, and I didn't really, like, it came out of nowhere. Like, like nobody expected it, but. How did you find that, out just like. Up. I was in class. I was in a Spanish class, and my coach he texted me and he was like, he was like, congratulations. And I was like, you're like what? Congratulations on what? He's like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Congratulations. Yeah. He's like, you just received your first offer. I was like, oh god. And I went to the bathroom. I called my mom. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Uh, but next, like, since you were mentioning like education and stuff, like a school with good education stuff like that. Uh, what what are you interested in, like studying in college? I always said if I didn't if I didn't go to the NFL, I want to be like an engineer, but I don't want to be like okay. a, a car engineer. I'm like, I want to be like a plane engineer. Type. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, next question, though, like now going outside of sports and your, some of your hobbies and stuff outside of sports, like your interests. Uh, what are your hobbies and interests out of sports? Uh, I mean, my life, I really pretty much just do sports. Like if I'm not playing football, then I'm probably playing basketball. I'm mm -hmm. doing something uh, productive. I don't usually, I don't stay in the house a lot. I don't. I'm always outside. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but that next question, 
I know like everybody has different artists that they like listening to, like the hype them up stuff like that before games. Like, what are your some of your favorite artists to listen to? I'm um, pushing on the right quick. I got three, three people. Mm-hmm. G Herbo. Yep. You gotta get Lil Baby and you gotta get Polo. Yeah, for sure. What about all three of them stands out to you from other artists? Their energy. Mm-hmm. But in that collab on that song they did, three had a go, three had a goat. Yeah. I mean, yeah. For sure. What what's your favorite song out of uh all three of them? Uh or album? G Herbo. Uh well, I don't know. G Herbo. I don't know the name of the album, but I know it's the album that had statement in it and session in it. That album. Polo G album. I think his favorite his, my best best song Polo G made was uh, probably um Rap Star and um mm-hmm. and Lil Baby uh Some Crew. Yeah, that that polo uh album was dope. Uh yeah. but the next question, if you could eat one food for the rest of your life, like one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Chipotle. What? Chipotle the uh, Chipotle okay. bowl because that's my go to anyway, so might as yeah. well. What's your favorite thing to get from Chipotle? What's your, what's your signature thing? I get a bowl, get white rice, black beans. Double chicken, half chicken, half steak. You gotta, but you got to get double. You can't get half. You got to get double. Yeah. You know, and then you just try to add whatever topics you want. You're going to get right after that. For sure. Uh, but now getting back into football somewhat, uh, if you – now that players can get paid and everything and get these endorsement deals, if you could choose one uh, one brand or company to sponsor you, who would it be and why? Uh, Adidas. Or Nike, but Adidas show a lot of love, so I might have to go with Adidas. What What about them? What is it about Adidas? Uh, like the way they they like, it's not necessarily Adidas, but like like the people that Adidas sponsor, the way they treat the players. Like when I went when I was younger and I did the mm-hmm. freshman All American game for Adidas, yeah, they like they like took us in, like they they took they put us all out and mm-hmm. they they gave us a real like feel of like what college is gonna feel like i like that so uh, ever since then i've been like a big adidas fan plus my school is sponsored by adidas so what was that all-american game like now that you mentioned it it was good i mean it was uh it was hold on it's my car my bad now you good it was it was good yeah all right all right yeah it was good it was a good feeling you go going into the game i was like because it's what happened was I went as for a receiver at first, but then I I looked how many receivers we had. We had like mm-hmm. twelve. We had like twelve receivers, <laughs> and we're only playing one game. Oh yeah. yeah. So I was like, yeah, that's that's not, not enough. Happen. That's not enough play time for you. Yeah. So I was like, all right, let me go over here. I'm like, go back to defense. So mm-hmm. I waited. I we was a three day. It was a three day thing. So it was like you practice yeah. for twelve. It was like a five day thing. You practice for like the first three days, and then y'all do like a meeting thing, and then y'all got the game. So. Mm-hmm. I waited till the last day to change. And so I was not starting going into the game. I wasn't starting that safety going into the game. Yeah. I got in. First play I got in. First play I got in, I stopped, I passed. Uh, and I, it was my it was my teammate too. Cause we, yeah. played, we played on a different side. So I, he tried to throw a bomb to him. I broke it up. And then yeah. they left me in after that, after that. And then I caught a pick for like ADR. I, I bring it back for like ADR. Shoot. Dang. Nice. What were what was the hardest people to like go against in that all American game? Uh, as as people I don't know his name. Nah, I do. I don't know his name. I know his Instagram though. His Instagram mm-hmm. is like something like Spotlight Jerry, but he's like he he a dog too. I think his he got he he was rated a four star too, and I think he's like the best running back in the class. Yeah. yeah. And um, another player I thought was hard was um that quarterback. I forgot his name though. He he good too. I think it was like Jaden Davis, something like that. Oh yeah, yep, yep, Jaden Davis. Yes, for sure. Uh, but then next question. Uh, what is some of your biggest like weaknesses that you're trying to improve on this season going into the season? Um, I have. I'm too. I I won't. I'm too aggressive. Like mm-hmm. playing the position I'm playing, I have to be like more so swift. So I want to like. I want to like move away from the aggression, but keep the aggression. I'm just trying to work on my feet working and all that. A little bit better. For sure. Um, then next question. Uh, what are some of your goals and expectations for this upcoming season as well for your team too? Uh of course to go undefeated. Mm-hmm. You know, 
we have a hard schedule, but we we're a good team, so we're gonna yeah. we're gonna show everybody what we got. Um, you know, of course, drop more offers, show player, uh, show show college scouts and twenty four seven that I need to be a five star sooner or later. Yo, yo, yo. But yeah, that's about it. You trying to be uh top top fifty? You already top fifty, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, I'm yeah. number twelve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Then next question. Uh, what's your favorite place that you've traveled for football? Was it the Adidas game, all All American? Uh, not well. That was not really. It was not really a like travel. I mean, you could say it was traveling, but we really just had to drive like two hours. It was really. It was mm-hmm. in Florida still, so we just drove up the road. But yeah. for football, seven on seven count. Because if seven on seven count, then it would be Vegas. Because we went to Vegas one year. It was really nice. Dang. But we went to Vegas twice. But that's Vegas. dope. What was your favorite uh, thing to do in Vegas when you were there? They took us to the strip after we won. Yeah. And that was fun. Yeah. I've been to Vegas, too. I think, like, dude, it was super busy, dude. Like, Future was playing. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was it was busy, bro. Like, sometimes, like, it takes you, if you're trying to, like, you could probably walk faster than how you could drive in Vegas sometimes. Like, it's Yeah. Crazy. And then, like, and, like, the way we was, like, it was like in some city where like the whole thing was like surrounded by mountains. So like you, everywhere you look, like if you look this way, you want to see the mountain. Like the whole mountain, whole place is surrounded by mountains. Yeah. I was like, oh no, nah, we can't get out of here. It's so weird, dude. Like, like, like when you're yeah. in the city, you don't notice it, but when you're just like going so right out of the, the city, city, like you just see it all, and it's like, what the? Heck? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's 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 kind of weird, but <laughs> but uh, ne- next question. Um, well, the last question. Uh. If you had one piece of advice to give to any athlete, what would it be and why? If you had, you you disconnected, I'll just edit that out. It's all good. But uh, the last question was, if you had one piece of advice to give to any athlete, what would it be and why? I need. I like. I wanted to say this because it's a lot. A lot of people that I know still that that's they feel like they got to give up because they're not getting attention right now. Yep. The attention is, is 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 once you get attention, it's not special anymore. You just got to know you got to keep working. Yeah. Regardless of the situation. So even if you don't got offers right now, or you don't you don't got no stars, just know you got to keep working, and yep. your your accomplishment goes sooner or later. For sure. Um, and then now we'll get into the end of this interview. Uh, if you want to shout anybody out, just go right ahead. Uh, shout out to Summon uh, We're going undefeated this year. Western on the clock week one. Yes, sir. Uh, that's it. When is your first game this season? Oh, uh, the 27th. 27th? That's yeah. coming up. That's coming up real quick. That's that's yeah, a yeah. week from now, bro. Next yeah. Friday. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Um, and then last but not least, like, where can we find you on social media so people can stay? In uh, you? Uh, Twitter at Patterson Zaquan, Instagram five star underscore dot Zaquan, five the letter, the number five, and then star underscore dot Zaquan. And yeah, that's it. I don't got no more hands. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, thank you, everybody, uh, for watching this for the uh, cool interviews. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you again, Saquon Patterson, for being here once again. Uh, but, yeah, guys. Oh, it's, it's a pleasure, man. It was a pleasure. Yeah, thank you, man. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will see you guys in the very next episode of the Cool Predictions. We out. All right. All right.